we have a bathroom to get redone today um, as you saw already we did change out the vanity uh, Fred did that for me I just filmed a little bit of snippets there that you guys already saw but we also need to clean everything and get all this stuff organized and put away well, let me flip you around and show you so we need to change out this curtain this is from the old owner not a fan um, we need to scrub the inside of the shower get all this stuff put away as you can see kind of have stuff all over the place um, we have new stuff here that I picked up at home goods so we need to go ahead what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and start by pulling everything out and I am gonna go ahead and apologize for the lighting now it's terrible lighting but I'm gonna go ahead and start by pulling everything out and cleaning everything and then we'll go ahead and put everything back in. So let's go ahead and jump in this and get started. Alrighty guys, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and start by basically taking everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and start in the shower, get the shower pulled down, the old shower curtain. Um, I honestly don't know if that shower pull was or shower curtain rod <laughs> was meant to be painted that color or if it came that way or became that way. I don't know, but that thing was terrible. Um, also, you know, I know I've talked about this in my other videos, um, but we literally have like no storage in this house. So you'll see all these uh, hand soaps and lotions and stuff on the counter here. That's because I don't know where to put it, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, we are actually going to work on that though once the kitchen is done. If you don't know, we are currently renovating our kitchen, so definitely subscribe if you haven't already and come back because you're going to want to see that it's such a huge transformation and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But once that's done, 
we're going to change the pantry into a linen closet so we have a lot more storage for like our cleaners and extra shampoos and body washes and stuff like that. Once everything is cleared out, I am gonna go ahead and start with the shower and basically work my way from the inside of the bathroom on the way out. Um, it just kind of makes it easier. I also like to work from like top to bottom when I'm cleaning. I don't know, it just makes sense to me. That way I guess as things fall from above, uh, dust, hair, all that stuff, you know, it makes its way down and then you're not cleaning and re-cleaning the areas. So, also, like I've said before, I always, always, always recommend a handheld shower sprayer um, or shower head. I love this one. We picked it up at Lowe's and it works great. <laughs> it makes it so much easier than taking like a cup and trying to splash the soap off the walls or the cleaner off the walls. So definitely, definitely recommend one of those. I'll try to remember to leave a link for it down in the description for you guys. When we first moved into this house, I cleaned everything. However, since starting our kitchen renovation, there has been dust everywhere. It is disgusting. It's ruining my bedroom rug that is white, which was, uh, I shouldn't have laid it down yet, but who knew? Um, so. Yeah, that's going to be another video for another day, though. I will be scrubbing our rug, cleaning all the dust that is everywhere in the house from the shower, or from the shower, oh my goodness, from the kitchen renovation. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this finished cleaning up here. I do, I, I showed in the beginning of the video, like when we cleaned, or not cleaned, when we changed out the toilet here, the old one left like a ring. Um, I have tried anything and everything imaginable to try to remove that ring. It is like a permanent ring. You'll see here, I even tried to use, is it Zep or something like that, uh, cleaning products. You'll see here in a second and I still can't get it off. I've tried bleach, I've tried the toilet bowl cleaner, I've tried all purpose sprays. Like I literally have tried everything and I cannot get it off the tile and it is driving me crazy. So if you have any tips for that, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments because your girl needs help. <laughs> Long, my dear love. been feeling something for you lately and i am trying so hard to just stay cool oh man i think i might be going crazy cause all i really really want is to be with you i'll be honest when we first picked out this vanity which actually uh fred ended up picking out and he picked out the faucet um but when we first picked it out, I was like, oh, I don't know. It actually came as a set, uh, vanity top and vanity all together. We picked it up at Lowe's. Um, I think it was around $500 or something for the entire set, which honestly, I don't feel like it's that bad of a price. But anyway, I was a little concerned because the vanity top is white with a little bit of gray, like marbling effect. And as warm as these tiles are in here, they're very off-white uh, linen tan kind of coloring I was a little concerned that the gray would not go well with it but honestly you guys the more I walk into this bathroom the more I see the new vanity I absolutely love it and I'm so happy that we picked that one it's just a little too much for me to choose. I say that I'm all right, but cry on the inside. Alrighty, guys. Ooh, I'm looking at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Um, it's a bit echoey in here because there's nothing in, in the room anymore. But we are now getting ready to decorate. The fun part is finally here now that everything is spotless and clean. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. I think I found most of this at Home Goods, so let me turn you around and show you what we got. And this is what fell and made the noise. <laughs> Um, this is actually just a clear liner. I like to have a liner between my curtain and the shower. And then we also picked up these uh, command hooks. Um, obviously this is from Target, hence the Target symbol, but we also picked up these bath and shower command hooks. So they're like waterproof, I guess, I hope. Um, anyway, we're gonna use these to hold our loofahs um, in the shower. So I thought that would be the easiest thing is to do this instead of like screwing a hook into the wall or anything like that. So, um, also, so these I got, my hair is like all over it. I shed so bad, you guys. Anyway, I got these all at Home Goods. Um, these are towels, as you can see here. Um, I just thought they were kind of, I, I'm trying to do all neutrals here, guys. I don't know if you've noticed that, but. I like to do neutrals. I feel like it's more calming, more relaxing, kind of um, beachy, but kind of farmhouse, kind of boho. I don't know, I'm really just loving all the neutrals nowadays. So I did pick up these hand towels. And then we also picked up, this is the shower curtain here. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see there. I got it for $24 on clearance, but yeah, so there's that, and it's super soft. Like, it's not soft, but it's kind of soft. Like, it almost feels like a blanket, like a throw that you'd throw on the bed or on the couch, so. And then we also picked up these rugs, which kind of carry the same colors that are in the shower curtain and the towels. So I got these. These are so, so soft. I, I absolutely love them. And then I also picked up this um, bench, I guess. Uh, it's just a little tiki light type bench for the shower. Uh, it says it was $60, so I didn't realize it came with little footy pad things. I don't know if I'm gonna use those or not, we'll see. Um, but anyway, I just needed something to put like right in here in the shower. So, you know, when I'm shaving my legs, I have something to put my leg up on. Um, or if I feel like I need to sit down to shave. Um, I also liked that it had a little shelf underneath because I'll probably put like my shampoo and stuff like that down there because the little soap dish in the shower just doesn't hold it very well. So, and this is sealed, it's sealed wood. It's made for a shower, so hopefully, Hopefully it'll hold up okay. So anyway, let's get all of this uh, and nosy boy, as always, Miko. <laughs> let's go ahead and get all this uh, put together, guys. I wish you were my man. Hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm doing just fine. If you're looking for affordable decor or items like this for the shower, or honestly, really anything dishes towels f some furniture pillows i love home goods you guys i i don't know we actually find good things in the clothes too which are typically not the home goods side it's like tj maxx um but y'all understand right like they're kind of connected um there's another one too and i cannot remember the name of it but it's all connected it's all a part of the same company um but i love shopping there and i kind of a problem because it's literally like five minutes down the road from our new house but anyway um i i found a lot of these awesome uh, decor items uh bath items stuff like that and then also i can't remember if i said already but the mirror here this round mirror i also found at home goods it was on clearance i think it was like 40 or 50 bucks so which personally i think is an awesome deal and right now i am out looking for awesome deals
as much as I love the way that this turns out with the shower curtain and that, I think it just looks so pretty. I really, really would love to put up glass doors. Um, I think they're only like $500, and quite honestly, they look pretty simple to put up. But unfortunately, it's just not in our budget right now. So shower curtain it is, but again, that's okay because it does turn out absolutely beautiful. But maybe sometime in the future, you know, maybe next year, next summer or so, that all might change. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I'm getting this all put up, and all of a sudden I notice that the shower curtain, the liner I should say, not the curtain, is too short. And I'm like, what in the world? What is going on? They screwed up, packaged wrong, you know, whatever. You guys, it wasn't until I was just editing this video that I noticed that I bought a stall size shower liner. Ugh! I'm... I don't know. I, somehow I totally missed the big bold letters on the front of the package. But it works. It is what it is. We're going to use it until we need to change it, so... <laughs> These baskets here I picked up at Target. I will say that Home Goods has way more affordable baskets, but I could not find what I was looking for. And honestly, these weren't even it either, but I was just getting to the point where I was like, you know what, forget it. I just need to get something. And quite honestly, I love how these turned out. I wanted them to be a little bit deeper so I could fit other items in there, um, but it worked out and I honestly think that they looked really nice. I had to pull Fred in on this one. Uh, yeah, hubby and wife projects <laughs> aren't always great, especially because I'm like extremely picky uh, when it comes to how I want things done. And yeah, this this project probably took far too long, and I think I annoyed my husband maybe just a smidge trying to get these hung up. Um, you'll actually see we put a hook up, and it was totally not right and we moved it over and don't worry because you guys will see the holes and I know somebody's gonna say something we will be filling the holes I will take care of that don't you worry but anyway so and honestly they're still crooked but when the towels are up there you really can't tell so it is what it is You guys also might be wondering why we're doing three hooks in a master bathroom. It's because I need a hook for my hair towel. Uh, you ladies with long hair, maybe you guys understand. You gotta have two different towels. I have used two towels my entire life and I still use two towels. So I definitely wanted to have three hooks instead of using um, one hook or one, yeah, basically one hook with two hooks. Does that make sense? Do y'all understand? I didn't want to stagger my towels. I wanted them on separate hooks. So that's what we're doing. But I did also pick up the towels that you're going to see here in a minute. They are actually the bath sheets, Sonoma bath sheets from Kohl's. I got a coupon in my email the other day. Uh, it was like 
$20 off of $100, plus you could use a 25% off coupon, plus I had a $10 Kohl's cash from buying the girls' backpacks, so I got an amazing deal on these towels. I also picked up some new bed sheets, so I'm super excited for those as well. Any good at being away from you, I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. I will say, although I love these rugs, they are so soft. Uh, it's a little, the pile is a little high for the door. Um, it still swings. It's a little tight, but we'll make it work. Honestly, I don't shut the bathroom door that often anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, I know privacy is not a thing in this household. A little bit, but not that much. If you want somebody else, who am I to touch? I met you in the summer when you left. We're going to go ahead and finish up and get everything put back in the shower, but I do want to remind you real quick of what this bathroom looked like before everything got changed out from that ugly shower curtain and shower curtain rod to the vanity and everything else. And now on to the beautiful new bathroom. So uh, I just love it. It's so relaxing and beautiful. And I, yeah, it's, it's just no words, guys. I don't know. I'm a loss for words. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Alrighty guys, so I think we're done. I just kind of wanted to explain a little bit. So the hooks look good. Probably need some new loofahs. These are kind of falling apart, but both of my loofahs fit on there. My shampoo and stuff. Obviously I have a lot of product, um, but I found this little soap dish at, um, I think it was HomeGoods for $5.99. Obviously I need to remove the sticker, but I thought that would be nicer than trying to put the soap up there as well and getting all over my stuff. Um, just my sugar scrub and then this is a toothbrush holder and although it's not identical I thought it was like kind of a complimentary match and I liked it um, again keeping with those neutral themes and then I can put my razors in here which I need to get a razor head for that so <laughs> um, but I thought it was perfect for that and then I have my bench so the shower is all nice and done and then there's my stuff and Fred's so <laughs> Anyway, yeah, there's the shower, and then here's just a little bit of decor. I thought it would be cute to just roll these up and just kind of put them in there with this cute little basket. This is stuff that I had at the old house. If you're an OG, you remember those. Um, there's no toilet paper roll holder in here, so we did get that. I'm not 100% sure that I like that there. I don't want to drill into this since this is brand new, but for now, we'll see. It's going to sit there. We'll see if we like it. <laughs> Um, also, I don't remember if I told you guys, but this mirror is from Home Goods. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it simple with the decor. That's why we only have this. And then, if you guys remember, this came from the old house. And then, don't worry, I will fill those holes in. But these towels are brand new from Kohl's. So, anyway, I think it looks really nice. Uh, those baskets are from Target. It just has the extra towels and then the extra toilet paper in it. So yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I really, really like it. So I hope you guys do too. Um, so anyway, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button before you leave today. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up as well. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.